What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Uh, so I guess my last video someone asked me to do a, another snake video. So that's what we were doing today. And uh, actually something crazy happened to my snake tank the last couple days. Uh, my snake shedded. And here is his shed. So I guess it's been two days. Um, I actually haven't touched it. So this is the first time I'm actually experiencing this. This is what it looks like. This is how it came out. Pretty sweet. Check it out, this is the tail up here, and the head down there. Probably just end up throwing this away, but it's really cool. His, he definitely, I mean, he shedded real well. Um, I kept the tank nice and uh, uh, wet by the spray there, so it helped him shed real nice and easily. And he basically got the full shed out. He is currently under this rock. I'm pretty sure there's still a little bit left on his head. You can see right there, there's a tad bit on his head there that hasn't come off yet. Um, I could probably peel it off uh, myself, or it'll just come off by itself. Um, not too worried there, but overall, first time he shedded, and that's pretty great. Great, great start. It means I'm doing something right. But what we're going to do is we're going to feed him today. It's feeding day. Uh, but also, that was a great surprise for y'all, and me as well, that we got the shed in here. So I'm actually going to get this out. We don't need this in here anymore. I'm just going to put this on top of there. And uh, actually, my rat... Is heating up, is actually uh, defrosting right now. And hey, it's about done, we're about ready. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, feed our snake, our ball python. Okay, we got the rat in place. I hold it by its butt. Uh, and you want the snake to, oh look bro, he already sees it. Uh, you want the snake to get the uh, head. So here, here goes nothing, bro, he is freaking hungry. Ooh, he cranked it. All right, so that wasn't exactly what we wanted to happen. We wanted him to hit the head. He did not hit the head. Um, that's one main reason why I do not. Sorry, I out of focus. Uh, one main reason. One main reason why I do not feed live rats um, is because he hit the side of the belly there. And if that was a live rat, it could have hurt him. The rat could have bit him. Um, so that's why I don't feed live rats. That's a good example right there. Um, but he'll be fine. He'll readjust. And he'll find the head and he'll swallow that perfectly. Right now what he's doing, for those of y'all who have never seen this before, um, is he's basically strangling it. He'll stay in this position for a good, you know, 10-15 minutes. And then he'll start to unravel and start to swallow it. Um, he's actually starting right now. But he's trying to get, it, trying to make sure it's dead before he starts to actually chew it. We're going to give it about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Once he starts swallowing it, I'll get a little time lapse for y'all. You can see the action live. <laughs> 